Hey everyone. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how I put together and got the Spider Farmer hydroponic system up and running. Step 1. Connect the light hood and base with the post. The light post has pins on both ends for connecting the base and leads. Begin by inserting the upper end of the post into the light hood. Next, detach the bowl from the base and insert the lower end of the post into the base. Place the bowl back onto the base. Finally, position the light hood at its lowest setting. Step 2. Plug the tea sprinkler into the pump. The pump comes with a tea sprinkler, which helps improve water oxygenation. It is packaged separately in a plastic bag. Remove the tea sprinkler from the bag and connect it to the pump. Ensure that the tea sprinkler is securely and properly attached. Step 3. Fill tank with water. Add 6 liters of water to a bowl. Utilize the measuring scale on the front of the bowl to verify the water level inside. I typically use ordinary tap water. However, since my water has a high pH, I also include a pH reducing agent. Alternatively, you can opt for distilled or bottled water. Nevertheless, regardless of the choice, I suggest examining the pH of the water. The ideal pH range is between 5.5 and 6.5. Step 4. Add plant food. This hydroponic system comes with concentrated plant food that requires dilution in water. Begin by emptying the contents of bag A into the bottle labeled A, and do the same for bag B into the bottle marked B next, fill the bottle with water, leaving a little space at the top. Secure the caps tightly and give the bottles a good shake. Allow them to sit for a few minutes, then shake them once more. Once this is done, the plant food will be ready for use. To prepare the plant food mixture, pour two caps, equivalent to 30 milliliters, of plant food from each bottle into a bowl. Step 5. Put the seeds in sponges. Spider Farmer provides hydroponic systems with unseeded sponges, which meant that I had to purchase my own seeds. I recommend putting two to three seeds in each sponge and then placing the sponges into the baskets. Regrettably, the kit does not include stickers to prevent algae from growing on the sponges. You have the option to purchase them separately or create a similar barrier using foil. Step 6. Place the seed pods in the holes. Please position the baskets containing the sponges into the designated slots on the deck. In case you are not utilizing all of the slots, please distribute the baskets evenly, maximizing the space between them. Additionally, ensure that any unused slots are covered with lids. Proceed to cover the seed pods with the provided grow domes. After some time, you will notice the emergence of sprouts, indicating that the domes can be removed. Step 7. Plug in the power and configure the system. First, connect the cable from the power adapter to the base. Then, plug the power adapter into the power socket. This should activate the LEDs and indicators on the control panel, causing them to illuminate. Next, select the appropriate number of hours for your plant's lighting needs. Initially, I recommend setting it to 8 hours, but once the seedlings begin to sprout, increase it to 16 hours. Additionally, remember to choose a light mode that is suitable for your specific plants. That concludes my instructions. I wish you success in your hydroponic endeavors and all the best.